the budget allocation for PM Kisan Samman Nidhi has been reduced from 75,000 crore rupees to 65,000 crore rupees. MSMEs were dismissed in one sentence, an allocation of 15,700 crore. This is like providing a fistful of votes to a hungry elephant. Nothing was mentioned about providing liberal, low interest loans, working capital, or moratorium. Nothing will be done to revive closed units or to recover the millions of jobs that were lost. The FM seems to be unaware that thousands of MSMEs, especially micro and small units, have been closed permanently. A meager sum of rupees 20,000 crore has been set apart for recapitalization of public sector banks when the requirement is several times more. At the same time, the government intends to privatize two PSBs. The intent of the government is clear. Let the PSBs bleed slowly so that they can all be privatized in the short term. Let us see the reaction of the public to this unconcealed desire to sell off all public sector banks. The tax reliefs and the tweaking of provisions of the tax laws completely bypassed the tax-paying working class and the tax-paying middle class. Each one of the measures announced by the FM will benefit only the taxpayers among the richer classes. There was no cut in GST rates. The mess of multiple rates remains. The saga of protectionism continues. Customs duties have been increased on a number of items in the wrong belief that a stiffer dose of protectionism will help Indian industry. As expected, the finance minister has paid special attention to election-bound states. She announced large capital outlays, let me repeat that word, outlays, for Kerala, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, and Assam. People are not fools. They know that the proposals are only outlays and the actual expenditure will happen only after the schemes are approved and over a period of several years, depending upon the pace of implementation. On the 10-point test that we had suggested on 28 January, the budget fails on point one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <laughs> 